Well, thank you for having me here uh, today. I, I'm, uh, I'm here to talk about uh, a story that uh, happened in Italy, uh, where in uh, five years we actually made it uh, to uh, from zero to eight million seven hundred thousand uh, votes. That's about twenty-five percent of um, of the votes in Italy, um, and we did that with uh, no money and using the internet. So I'm, I have a few stories uh, we, we, I can share with you today, uh, very briefly, because I, I'll try to stay in my 15 minutes. Um, the first thing I wanted to uh, point out, there's uh, a game changer. Uh, the game changer was the internet. Uh, this uh, has uh, uh, changed uh, the rules of the game all around the world, and uh, especially in Italy, uh, and today I wanted to talk about the Five Star Movement. So what happened uh, in, uh, in Italy and how did we manage to get this movement? Uh, uh, today it's uh, quoted around 30%, but in 2013 uh, we actually uh, gained 25% uh, of uh, the, the votes in uh, national ballots. Uh, well. These are some of the things we managed to do uh, using the internet and uh, this intermediation, uh, the, um, the various systems that uh, were in place with normal parties. We created uh, this movement, uh, uh, for example, getting uh, candidates uh, chosen by the people from the movement and we did this uh, using the internet. So, for example, uh, we, we got people uh, candidating themselves for Parliament, for European Parliament, for uh, single towns. Uh, and we got people, uh, as you can see here, uh, just uh, posting online their CV, their video presentation, uh, what, whatever their intent was uh, for, for the town. This is, uh, for example, uh, in Rome in 2013. Um, or at the European elections, we had around 87,000 people that could actually uh, uh, come forward to candidate themselves for the Five Star Movement. And 5,000 of these actually did uh, come forward and posted their CV, posted their video online, uh, asked everyone else to uh, uh, vote for themselves uh, for the European uh, uh, Parliament. 73 uh, of these were actually voted online and uh, finished up in the lists uh, of the Five Star Movement for the European uh, uh, Parliament. And today we have 17 uh, members of the European Parliament actually elected. Uh, a couple of them are actually in this uh, uh, here today with us. Um, in Rome elections, this is another, another example, we had around 10,000 people that uh, could actually candidate themselves for uh, the position, uh, and 200 of these came forward. 29 of them were actually uh, elected. Today we have uh, the, the first mayor, uh, women, the first uh, women mayor in Rome, and uh, this is Virginia Raggi. Uh, and the same, uh, same system, we actually applied it to many other contexts in region, in regional level, other towns, and to the, to the national parliament. Uh, defining the program online, we tried to tackle this difficult problem of uh, getting to know what the movement wanted uh, the movement to propose in Parliament to discuss, in Parliament to uh, uh, propose to uh, uh, in in any issue that uh, needed uh, a program of the Five Star Movement. So we uh, we tackled this in various ways. Uh, one uh, is uh, is the fact that any elected uh, person of the movement in Parliament has to discuss for two months online their uh, proposed law. So today we have around 247 laws discussed online from the uh, national parliament. Uh, 
uh, with uh, over nearly 80,000 comments on the various laws that have been proposed. And the parliamentarian needs to gather up all the issues raised on, uh, on that law and propose the law uh, taking into account all those uh, um, old laws comments and integrations that have been proposed. The same uh, uh, system, we've uh, created it for a regional level. So in uh, every region we have uh, elected people uh, all the elected people in the regional uh, council need to discuss on Lex, we call it Lex, uh, online uh, their proposed laws. And uh, lastly, but not leastly, uh, at the European level, uh, every report that uh, gets uh, uh, taken into account from uh, our, elected, our 17 elected uh, members of parliament uh, gets put online and discussed online uh, these, uh, these also. So, um, there was another issue uh, it, that uh, was taking into account that the fact that not necessarily we have everything ready uh, to discuss, to propose uh, on, uh, on a political level. So, this is an example uh, uh, taking in account the electoral law. At a certain point in Italy we uh, discovered that our electoral law was unconstitutional. So, uh, uh, so we had to propose uh, a new uh, electoral law. Uh, the the five-star movement did not have an electoral law to be proposed uh, already uh, already available, so we had to discuss it with the movement and we uh, got a university professor that uh, explained uh, the various issues of an electoral law and uh, during three months uh, we actually got people to vote on the main points of an electoral law. At the end of these three months uh, we uh, had the people informed, involved and deciding what electoral law the movement, the Five Star Movement, would propose uh, for, for the Italian Parliament. Uh, the same, uh, the same uh, model, we are now applying it to uh, the government program that uh, we hope to, to take uh, forward in, uh, in the next, uh, uh, for the next elections. Uh, raising money from people and not from state subsidies. In, uh, in the 90s we uh, in Italy had a referendum asking people if they wanted uh, to give money to parties uh, and the people, Italian people, said no. Uh, after that uh, uh, the Italian parties said well we don't want subsidies we want reimbursements and the reimbursements were much more than the subsidies that uh, uh, were uh, taken before the referendum. So this is a strange way of dealing with uh, the results of a referendum. But what our uh, choice was, was to respect this referendum, so we did not want to take the state subsidies. This uh, meant that we had to ask people to give us uh, money to do our electoral campaign, to do our activities, political activities in Italy. Uh, so, for example, in 2013, but I have many other examples after that, uh, we raised uh, around 700,000 uh, euros from uh, the Italian people that were supporting uh, the Five Star Movement. This is something like 30 euros each. So it's uh, micro don donations to, to the movement. We actually used half of that and we gave half of it uh, to uh, an earthquake city to, to rebuild uh, um, our town school. Uh, and that allowed us to obtain the famous uh, 8,700,000 votes. So if you calculate what that expenditure means, it's around 4 cents for vote that we actually spent in, uh, for, for that campaign. Uh, if we go and see what we were entitled to, 
it was four euros and 86 euros uh, for per vote. That's what all the other parties actually uh, got uh, back from the state. Uh, and that's more than 100 times, just to point it out. Uh, so we said no to 42 million euros that uh, was public money that, was, that we were entitled to for, for the results we, we obtained. And after that we said no to many other uh, state subsidies that uh, we were entitled to. Uh, getting people together. This was another topic, to, uh, how to get people uh, together, physically involved. And we started using Meetup. We started using Meetup straight away, uh, even before uh, starting the Five Star Movement. We were using uh, Meetup all around the world. Uh, today, well, these numbers are uh, slightly outdated, but uh, um, they can give you a sense of what type of numbers we have. Uh, we have over 1,400 uh, groups around the world with uh, around 170,000 people in uh, one, over 1,100 uh, uh, towns around the world. And to give you a sense of what those numbers mean, if you go and see the Democratic Party in the States, uh, you can see a, a brief comparison of, uh, of the numbers. Uh, enable activists. We've been creating tools to get people involved and keep, get people the, uh, giving people tools to do things to help the movement. Uh, just an example, this was a Facebook application uh, where uh, every, everyone uh, uh, could do things, get, pe get friends involved, provide financial support, promote the two events of, uh, uh, that uh, we did around Italy. Uh, distribute the Five Star Movement program, etc. And every activity that uh, uh, the people did, they got points. And the hundred most uh, uh, the hundred most activist people uh, actually went for a big party at the end of uh, of the campaign. Um, and on that, we involved more than 50,000 uh, 50, people just on that single application. Uh, bypass traditional media to communicate. This is uh, a topic uh, especially important in Italy. If you've ever been to, uh, to Washington to see the museum, it's a, a great uh, museum uh, talking about the, the story of uh, information around the world. And what uh, surprised me is uh, seeing a big wall uh, with this map. And this map, I, I looked at Europe and saw a, a, a yellow dot in, uh, in Europe, and that was Italy. And wow, uh, th they know in Washington too that we are a partly free uh, press uh, uh, country. So uh, this was a problem. This was a problem for a new movement wanting to uh, develop in, in a country that, where the press the, is partly free. Uh, so what did we do? We started with a blog in 2005, the, the, on January it was born, and on December the same year we actually got a prize uh, for the best uh, uh, Italian news and information uh, blog in Italy. And we got that prize from uh, a traditional media, Sole 24 Ore, which is the uh, most common uh, financial newspaper in Italy. And after that, we actually did not get any other uh, prize from Italian media, but uh, that, that's probably normal. But we did get uh, uh, some, uh, some good uh, steps around the world. Uh, for example, Technorati in 2006, the year later, uh, uh, said we were the 28th uh, uh, most visited blog in the world, and in 2008, the Observer uh, got us uh, on the ninth most influential blog in the world. So we we built up uh, both traffic and uh, trust on uh, on this single uh, this single blog. We then uh, went on uh, the various social media, but I don't have time today to talk about that. Uh, law proposals by my activists. Um, we got people, this is a recent uh, thing that we've, uh, we've put up in uh, just starting this, uh, this summer, um, getting people proposing laws. 
so, uh, for example, we put this, uh, uh, what we call Lexi Scritti, uh, and we have people proposing laws to take to Parliament. So we now have around 400 uh, proposals that have been uploaded, and people vote for the proposals to be taken to Parliament. And six of these proposals have already been taken to Parliament. Uh, simply, the, the person that proposes that, uh, that law gets taken to Parliament, and the Five Star Movement parliamentarians help him to take that, uh, that law, to define it, to write it out as it should be for the, for the Parliament, and then present it in Parliament. Uh, Organizing elected people. Uh, we have around 2,200 uh, people elected in the various uh, uh, town councils, regional councils, parliaments, and European parliaments. And we uh, figured out that not all of them know what the, all the others are doing. So we created this system where every, uh, every elected person in the Five Star Movement can actually. Uh, put up what they've been presenting in the town council or in the regional council or in parliament uh, and can uh, actually search what all the others uh, have been uh, creating, have been uh, doing and maybe copy it, modify it or uh, comment it. So this is a, a new way of getting people organized uh, in, uh, in, the town, in the various town councils. Uh, sharing knowledge uh, we've created uh, a system for e-learning. Uh, this, uh, for example, is, is a course dedicated uh, to uh, newly elected people in town councils that obviously don't know anything about the town council before getting into it. Uh, so we created a, a series of courses that uh, they can attend online and they can test themselves, uh, which, uh, which means that uh, uh, every town council councillor uh, needs to pass the the various uh, uh, tests to to be able to uh, know that they have the right knowledge to uh, to do their job. So this is uh, what we call the Rousseau, uh, and we've put all these uh, applications that uh, you've seen in uh, this application that uh, is called Rousseau. Uh, that uh, is uh, is now evolving, uh, and will have uh, new new features in uh, in the next few weeks and months. Uh, and why did we call it Rousseau? Because the only way we think uh, to correctly interpret the the will the will of people is to ask the people what they want. So that's why we've uh, called it Russo. Well, thank you for your attention today. Thank you very much, uh, Davide. This is a really fascinating insight in your work and uh, what you have achieved and how you are organized. Uh, I would like just to give uh, three uh, very brief questions, if there are, about that. Um, if there are people who have a very concrete question, please. Thank you very much. First of all, congratulations. I, by coincidence, have a hat which will irritate you as a Milano man, because this is AS Roma. It's in honor of Virginia Raggi. Um, seriously. Um, when you say people can initiate laws, uh, or proposing laws, which you later on represent in the parliament, um, who can do that? Is there any kind of requirement that someone is registered with the Five Star Movement in some way to make such proposal? Or is it any Italian citizen who can do that? Or anybody can do it even beyond Italy? That's one question. Second is that if you do the, um, or you make a proposal, is it an elaborated, uh, more or less like a draft law, or is it just some basic idea which is thrown up in the air? Thank you. Okay, I'll answer straight away, otherwise I won't remember all the questions. Um, 
There's uh, around 130,000 uh, people that are registered with the Five Star Movement, and these people can actually propose their laws uh, online. There's uh, a model to uh, propose the law that uh, gives uh, a very brief uh, intent of the law, uh, gives uh, ask requires to uh, to see what laws are already talking about that topic, and if there's uh, a confrontation uh, abroad about that type of topic, uh, obviously anyone can uh, propose that law. So the competences of uh, the people the the people that are proposing it uh, not necessarily uh, require or match. Uh, at a parliamentarian level to be proposing uh, that, uh, that type of topic, but the intent of uh, getting out that, um, uh, that proposal is to show all the other people, all the other 130,000 people uh, in, in the Five Star Movement, what they wanted to be doing in Parliament. So if that uh, intent comes out, the other people will vote it, and then it will be elaborated in uh, in Parliament. My question is: um, How much is the system changing through what you are doing? So, does uh, other mainstream parties start to adopt um, what you're doing? What is the effect on the general political system in Italy, or is it just a small? thing which in some years will be gone again? Well, uh, no, I don't see other parties uh, adopting it in Italy, uh, but this is probably because uh, it is a, uh, a structural change of uh, how a party should, uh, uh, should be working. So introducing this type of uh, uh, tools and ways of uh, dealing with the internal structure of a party means changing it radically. Uh, so it's not just uh, there's a nice tool out there, let's try it. It's uh, something will change radically our party, our movement, our our system, uh, do we want to uh, go in that direction? And, well, maybe they don't. Not now. Your process is very, what I would call, lawmaking, lawmaker driven. My question is, do you have in Italian politics the kind of thing that certainly exists in our politics in Ireland, where within an existing law, what I call stealth democracy is used to, let's say, get benefits for a local uh, community in terms of, say, an investment that might be made, it's moved up in the queue. Uh, you get this kind of thing, and I'm open to correction on that, in the United States where um, federal investment is attached uh, to a piece of legislation that has nothing at all to do with the, the purpose of the investment, but it's put in there in order to, let's say, uh, encourage or to uh, recognize that a congressman uh, or a senator has voted for a particular piece of legislation. Uh, do you have that kind of, do you have any, cons does this happen in Italy? I suspect it does. And how does the Five Star Movement deal with it? There are various systems uh, that uh, analyze the votes of, uh, of people in, um, in the various elected uh, uh, councils. So yes, th there are some tools in, uh, in that sense. Uh, if you're talking about internal tools of the Five Star Movement to control the vote, no, we don't have uh, that type of uh, uh, system. Last comment. Yeah, just maybe a, a last comment is uh, what you have explained, and I followed a little bit your movement, um, well, since a while. But um, Podemos in Spain, I, I see similarities um, in the way uh, certain mechanisms have been used. Um, perhaps you could comment on that. Uh, yes, I. I um I actually missed the the, uh, the, the session, but uh, they they told me it was a very interesting part on uh, on dealing with uh, uh, 
receipts and all the expenditure uh, part. I did not talk about our system uh, uh, dealing with uh, the expenditure part, but we also do have a system called Tirendi Conto, which uh, analyzes all the expenses of um, uh, uh, parliamentarians, for example, and uh, probably will we'll extend it to other elected people in the uh, near future. Um, I see similarities in the use of the internet because obviously when you start using the internet to get uh, transparency, to get uh, participation, to get um, people involved in uh, the various activities, you probably go in the same direction. Thank you very much. And I have a last question to you, if I'm informed right. Uh, you have also brought a video from a colleague in Torino with you. Yes, yeah. of course. Can yes. you introduce that? Well, uh, we, I, I first uh, talked about uh, one of our uh, mayors in, uh, in Rome, uh, but we also have a mayor in Turin, in, uh, and uh, this mayor is uh, Chiara Pendino. Uh, that uh, wanted to take uh, to to bring um, a message uh, to uh, to the conference. So I'm happy to introduce uh, Chiara Pendino. Good morning to all the participants and organizers of the O Global Forum on Modern Direct Democracy. My name is Chiara Pendino, and I'm the mayor of Turin. I would love to be there with you, but unfortunately, this was not possible due to my very busy schedule. The central theme of this forum, namely democracy as citizens' commitment, relies through all aspects of city government. This is especially important for the Five Star Movement, which has always promoted this approach. Citizens must accordingly be involved in the definitions of policies. Participation, in fact, can lead to a shared involvement that results in more effective actions. I could talk about these topics for hours by explaining in detail our program. We have already translated several proposals into actions. I would be very glad and proud if Turin could host the forum next year. Thanks again for your invitation. So I hope to see you all in Turin tomorrow, uh, the next year. Tomorrow is a bit early. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.